Okay, guys, what a better way to start beta than with things that I'm mostly just here to do, and that is thrift store hauls. So today I went to the Salvation Army and also to Goodwill, and we got this ATM machine. It has a working calculator, and we got some money. The drawer doesn't work, but I'm hoping I can find a um, screwdriver to fix the top drawer. And we're going to practice having store and using that to help us learn about money and counting. I uh, found Yahtzee Jr. Yahtzee is a favorite game of my husband and I, and so finding this Disney Edition Junior version is going to be so much fun for our family to do together. Then another James Harriet story, which I'm pretty sure is part of the um, kindergarten collection for the um, Sunlight Program. Uh, Esborn Children's Picture Atlas. Homeschooling Book of Answers. This looked really neat. I know a lot of this stuff, but I just thought it'd be fun to have on hand or to be able to share with someone who's considering homeschooling. Um, a winter walk. This looked like a really neat book and it just talked about like different colors, how they started out going on this walk on a winter day and then they got to see the colors outside. Winter was rust and yellow, green and brown so it seemed like a really cool one. Eve Bunting is a good author, and this is a night tree. I thought it was kind of cool that we had these 90s throwback pictures in here. And um, the illustrations are beautiful, a neat Christmas tale. Um, so I thought this looked really cool. This is actually for a friend of mine whose daughter has a tag. Whenever I find these, I pick them up for her because they're pretty expensive in the store. So we like the story Click Clack Moo, and I thought that she would really enjoy this. Then this is a scholastic biography about George Washington. I know that some other biographies are included in the five in a row series, and so whenever I find these, I'm just going to try to collect them. Magic School Butts gets crappy. Again, always a win in my book. And these are fun because they can go along with the DVDs, and we have most of those. The Ox Cart Man. Again, I told you about my prejudice. I buy these Caldecott and Newberry books when I can find them. It just seemed like a really neat um book about a time long ago and a farmer and an ox cart and it seemed really neat. Like Jake and Me, again, another honor winner and it looked like a lot of fun. So, got this one. Three names. This is a five in a row book. Excuse me, a little uncomfortable here on the floor. <laughs> um, I love Patricia McLaughlin. Sarah Plain and Tall was always a favorite book of mine and I have all three of the movies and I have the books and now I have three names so really excited to have found this today almost street letting swift river go this woman um, that this book used to belong to has some really good books that she sent to the um, goodwill I found a few of them love the illustrations I'm a sucker for children's books with awesome illustrations just so different than the kind of things you see now Song of the Swallows, another award winner. I feel like I've heard of this before, and so I just went ahead and grabbed it. Another Magic School Bus explores the world of animals. Lots of factual information in here. My kids love to learn about different kind of animals. Chocolatina. Penelope, my daughter, said, Oh, it's just like Pinkalicious, but she's Chocolatina. <laughs> and it's about a little girl who eats some chocolate and her teacher says you are what you eat you are what you eat and what happens to her after that this is a miracle on 34th street and the paintings are by Tommy DiPaola who is a personal favorite illustrator of mine and I thought that this would be a neat book to maybe start reading um, at the beginning of December slowly chapter by chapter or a couple chapters at a time and finish in time for Christmas the big snow Again, something I feel like I've seen, but it's an award winner, so I definitely picked it up, and it's in really good shape with amazing illustrations and um, just about different kinds of animals and what happens in the snow. And then, who to thunk it? Another award winner, Hansel and Gretel. Really great illustrations, and I always really enjoyed this story as a child, even though I probably heard some gruesome versions. So. That's it for tonight. Hope you guys are having a good vlogus. I'm hopefully going to keep this up, but we'll see. I'm not sure. So thanks for watching.